my classroom still needs to re be redone. I'm going to redo it. You can't see this. And then I have an art studio where I hang things, and so it'll, anyways, it'll be on that wall. I think I'm going to keep this spot because it's the back of a closet door. <laughs> I'm going to redo it on a different wall um, so I can have a standing spot and then a, like a ball in a spot. I have a shelf that I can put my computer on two different shelves that should work. So go ahead and come along and see how the process goes. <laughs> All right, so you know, may know this about me, but I am a huge DIY person and I hate numbers. So I oftentimes will find something random to measure with. Today I measured with this pencil. Sometimes I'll measure, measure with the end of a hammer. Sometimes I'll measure with a water bottle, one pencil length from the end. And I did, I erased them already, but there's another one there and then another one there. And I did this in between the two coming from each side. So this one's again, one pencil length from that end. Sorry, I don't measure. <laughs> I just do things. So, so here are the two shelves. The one is facing up and the other one's facing down. So this one's facing up. This will be to keep things from sliding off. I, I put prints up in my studio a lot. Um, like I hang them from hangers with the clips. So this will be nice to be able to set them and not have to hang them and have to have hangers for each one. And I've, I've wanted to do this for a while. And so I'll take the bottom of each one once we figure out how far apart the studs are. Usually I think studs are two feet. I could be wrong. Then we will nail, nope, screw these onto the wood. And then this part, the back where my thumb is, will go into the wall. Um, but we'll do measuring and find the studs and make sure there's no weird wires because our wiring is weird. <laughs> When's that one? Will, another one will go there. Um, I think I have four of them, so two for each. Hopefully that's enough. Three might have been better. So I discovered the problem. The only nail I had big enough to hold these was this one. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing instead. It's going to be practical, not as cute or pretty, but practical, which is what I want. So I will show you guys in a bit. These are actually hooks for framing artwork. I have a bunch around the house. I didn't want to buy something new. I couldn't find nails that worked for this project. I guess they might have worked going in this way, but they were still really long. I didn't want to deal with that. So if you go to an art supply store or even a hardware store, you can find these guys. They're little screws with a circle on them. And I you use them to wire artwork, not frame, but to put the wire hangers on the backs of them. Um, so I have tons of them. I have one pack with me here and then I have a bunch of other packs. So for me, these were free, but if you guys have nails, uh, that'd be the like, prettier way to do it. I might make some of these for our living room. And if I do that, I won't uh, use the, the circle hooks and I won't, I'll do it a lot differently if I did it for our living room. But for my art studio and uh, my VIP kid classroom, I'm not really worried about it looking nice. It just needs to be practical and something that can be changed in and out. So I, I plan to hang um, binder clips from these. So you take off the black part and then put that through and I might be able to use that or using S-hooks, we'll see what works. It's not a huge deal if it doesn't work, that's okay. I don't think it'll be visible from the camera. I'll show you how I did the shelves. They were pretty straightforward, not too difficult. And I have it set up so that this shelf in the middle, this section is if I'm sitting or standing and the top one is if I'm standing and then below this is if I'm sitting and like I said, I can hang things here. I have an exercise ball that I'll teach on for lower and then standing will be up here. So like you'll see like this, when I'm standing, my laptop will actually be right about here. And then when I'm sitting, my laptop will be right about here. Um, so maybe more like that, probably. I don't know. I marked out on the walls <laughs> all the places. Because <laughs> I had a bunch of nails. Like I had hangers up here. You can't see the nails, so never mind. I had hangers on. I hung painting prints from the hangers on nails. And they weren't in very far. I've always been wanting to do something like this. I also display artwork here. And when I do, I do sometimes do like, uh, not house shows. I do, most years I've done art in the park. This year I'm probably not going to do art in the park because I just have health stuff. Um, but I might do a studio tour. And so like when I do a studio tour, I can put artwork up here. So that's my new VIP kid classroom. I'm super excited. I mean, it's super empty. But I'm going to move uh, 
that stuff over here on. <laughs> Yay! Hey, so I'm in my new classroom. It's not totally done yet, but it's I'm excited. It is coming along. 